Hello guys, it's Aryan from Bro3 and today we are gonna model this realistic house in Blender. So let's get started. Okay, so here's our default scene. Let's delete this camera and this light and let's select our cube and let's press 1 to go to front view mode and and press tab to go to edit mode and press G Z to move it upwards. Another pivot point will be right below the cube. And now let's press N and set the Z dimensions to 15 so our house will be 15 meters tall and I'll lock this Z value and now let's press S to scale on the X and Y axis and I'll scale it somewhere right here okay so press N to hide okay so now let's go to edit mode and I'll add in some edge loops so one right here and another one right here okay so let's select both of these faces and let's extrude them a bit and i'll select this one and i'll extrude it again a little bit okay so something like that and let's add in few edge loops for the windows so for the top one i'll add in one right here and another one right here and one right here and another one right here okay so for this window i'll again add one right here and one right here and this will be a shorter one so one right here okay so this will be our window and and here will be two short windows so one right here and one right here okay and let's add in to one okay okay so now for the door let's add in a group right here so door will be called in these two faces and one right here for a small window okay so let's select the faces now okay so for the tall window let's select these faces and extrude it and extrude them inwards and delete those faces okay same here extrude them inwards and delete faces also this one so extrude and delete and so this one extrude and delete also this small window right here so extrude inwards and delete and for this door let's make the door a bit narrow so okay so i think it's fine so select the faces and extrude inwards and delete okay so now i think we are good to go with the doors and windows okay so now let's go to edit preferences and search for uh, archimesh add-on okay so just check these boxes for archimesh and archipack so for in this tutorial we are gonna select this archipack add-on so go to add and add in a mesh and archipack and let's select windows okay so for our big window we'll select this rail 3 so let's move them upwards so press g z and on the y-axis okay so now you can use these arrows to scale this window so let's pull this one until right here and let's also pull these arrows okay fine let's also add uh, one window here so press shift and right click to move the 3d cursor and add mesh archipack windows and let's select this rail 2 let's move it downward and now let's pull this upwards and now let's duplicate this window so right click and select hierarchy and let's press shift d to duplicate and move it downwards and g x to move it on the x axis and let's scale it down so s z to scale it down and g z to move it upwards let's scale again on the z axis okay so let's move on the x axis and press s x to scale on the x axis okay fine 
let's add two tiny windows here add mesh archipack and window and let's add this small one now let's duplicate this window so select hierarchy and shift d and press z on the z axis and let's scale it down on the z axis so as z and let's now move it upwards okay so now we are finished with the windows and now let's add in a door so shift right click here and add mesh archipack and a door let's select this door and let's scale it up okay so now we are done with the windows and doors let's add in a roof and some design and materials so click on this cube and let's go to edit mode and shift right click here and let's add in a cube and let's scale it down on the z axis and let's scale on the x axis and let's also scale on the y axis and let's move it just like this okay and let's move on the x-axis a little bit okay okay so now let's add in our roof so press 7 to go to top view and drag to select all of these faces and except these two shift click to deselect and now press shift d to duplicate and z on the z-axis now press e to extrude and extrude them a little bit just like this okay and now let's select all of these border faces so control click to pick the shortest path and now press alt e and extrude individual faces and scale them a little bit okay and now let's extrude these faces also so that it will look perfect okay so let's hover the mouse over the plane and press L to select link faces and let's place it on the top of our house okay so now I think it's looking pretty good now it's time for some materials and I'm using materials from quixel mega scan you just have to log in into an epic games account and then you can use the whole library for free so the materials I'm using will be in the link in the description so for the white color i am using this concrete wall and for the black color i am using this dark brick facade and and for the middle wall i will use this dark brick facade okay so now let's go to material preview and let's select our material and i have exported the material from quixel mega scan so it will appear here and i will choose this concrete wall and let's see and let's remove this material and it is applied to our building so let's go to edit mode and press a to select all and go to uv's and smart tv project and now the uv's are and now the uv's are scaled uniformly but uh, there is some glitch in our material so let's fix that so let's plug the roughness into the roughness and this bump into the normal and let's decrease this clear coat and now let's add in a texture coordinate so press ctrl t and let's plug this vector to every image okay so let's change the scale of this material so let's set that to 5 and the y to 5 okay so i think it's looking fine now let's go to edit mode and let's select this wall so press ctrl to pick the shortest path and now i'll assign it a dark facade so click new and let's select this dark brick facade and let's hit assign and go to uv's and smart uv project and let's see how it's looking okay so let's fix the issue with this also and now let's change the scale of this material so i'll set that to 4 and 4 and i think it's looking pretty good okay so let's set that to 3 
and I think 3 is looking great than 4 ok let's go to edit mode again and turn on overlays let's select this middle wall and let's add in a new material and let's set that to dark brick facet and let's hit assign let's go to uv and smart uv project ok let's add in a texture coordinate node ok so let's change the scale of this texture so i'll set that to 5 or 3 let's see ok 3 is looking good let's also change the texture of this wall also and let's select our roof let's assign the same material to this one also dark brick facade also let's hit smarty project okay now it's looking fine and for our windows let's go to layout and click our windows and let's select window glass and click use nodes and for the window we'll choose glossy bsdf we would have used uh, glass bsdf but we don't have anything uh, to display inside of our house we have just an empty house so we can reflect the environment with our windows so let's decrease this softness value okay and let's select window inside and change it to black or let's say principal bsdf set that to black increase the metallic value okay now it's looking pretty good let's select this door inside and press use nodes and let's make it a bit darker and i'll give that a metallic shade okay let's select this handle and also make it black and also make it a bit gray and reduce the roughness value so now i think our house is ready so now it's time for rendering you can improve it more by adding a cool terrain and adding some grass some trees some pathways and and some cool environment stuff and and background image and it will give it a pretty realistic effect in blender and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit that like button and consider subscribing for more great content and i will see in the next video goodbye